fire at a local apartment building. Firefighters are injured and several others are treated. And our Tom Waite is on the ground at the scene right now. Tom, what's going on? Hi there, Sharon and Juan. So some good news. The two firefighters that fell through the first floor down into the basement uh, received minor injuries there. They're doing much better. I'm with the fire chief. Chief Lanz is here from Glendale Fire Department. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you kind of walk us through what happened? Sure. This afternoon at 2.50 in the afternoon, Glendale firefighters responded to uh, an eight-unit, two-story with a basement pre-33. What that means is that's a building that was built prior to 1933 apartment unit. We found, upon arrival, we found heavy fire coming from the basement and first floor with multiple victims on the second floor. Firefighters immediately went into rescue mode, rescued a total of six victims from the apartment building, and subsequently, while fighting the fire on the first floor, two firefighters fell into the basement. Both were immediately extracted by awaiting firefighters that were in a rescue position and were in position to rescue them. They both pulled them out of the building with minor injuries. They've both been transported and are being evaluated at the hospital. We do expect them to make a full recovery. It's obviously great news. And aside from the firefighters, we're so happy that they're going to be okay. Um, I also, you were saying earlier that the civilians, some were treated here on scene, some taken just for evaluation. That's correct. We uh, rescued a total of six. Three were, all were evaluated. Three were transported. The other three were evaluated and not transported. Um, and we don't know the cause yet. Uh, these buildings are obviously, some of them are pretty old, so that may have contributed maybe at least to the floor collapsing so quickly and unexpectedly. Yeah, so these older buildings, pre-33 buildings, they, they pose a lot of challenges from us from a firefighting standpoint. The open frame construction, the minimal fire stops, a, a lot of the construction features that are required in our buildings today were not require, required back then. So it poses a real challenge for us. A portion of the building has collapsed, which has posed some additional challenges for us to be able to find that hidden fire and extinguish the remaining fire. We did see some, a woman, I think, passing a baby from one of the windows here. Someone had some cell phone video of that. Are, and they're, I assume, doing okay. Yeah. I haven't been able to confirm the age of the victims, but I was also told that one of the rescued uh, victims was a child. I haven't been able to confirm that. It looked like people were literally being rescued out of the window. That's correct. We had multiple window, window rescuers, and uh, firefighters did a fantastic job with this fire. Uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with our, the, the two injured, uh, but everybody that was on scene of this fire really uh, brought their A game and did a fantastic job. Now, as far as the building, is it pretty much lost? I mean, obviously, it's, pre it's pretty early on, but... Yeah, we're still in the, eva in, the evaluation, in the evaluation stage of the condition of the remainder of the building. Uh, there are portions of the first and second floor that are a total loss, but the, the rear and uh, opposite side of the fire where it started, it, it does look like firefighters were able to make a save. Uh, the building is constructed in such a manner where there's a center hallway that separates all the apartment units. Uh, the one side where the fire started definitely sustained major damage. Usually with the Red Cross comes in to kind of help some of these people find new housing for the night, right? Correct. Yeah, we'll, we will call the Red Cross uh, depending on the need of the, of the uh, other occupants and find them places to live tonight. Chief, thank you so much. We're so glad that uh, the firefighters that were injured are okay and obviously amazing job getting everybody out of there. Thank so you Thank much. you so much. You. Well, that's the very latest from here in Glendale. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this. Have more on CBS2 News at 5. We're live here in Glendale. I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio.